are two types of people in the car community. People that love Miatas and people that hate Miatas. It's definitely one of the most controversial cars you can buy. Yet, they're everywhere. They're at every autocross event. They're at every track day. They're at every car show. You can't throw a rock down the street without hitting 30 Miatas. But for whatever reason, people love these tiny, underpowered Japanese cars. So today, we're going to set the record straight. What makes the Mazda Miata so good? This is a 2002 Mazda MX-5 NB2, aka a second generation Miata. Weighing in at just over 2300 pounds, it's a pretty tiny car. It's equipped with an equally tiny 1.8 liter 4 cylinder engine that puts out about 140 horsepower, so realistically about 110 to 115 to the wheels. Now you're probably thinking, okay, well that doesn't sound that fast. I'll let you in on a little secret. You're absolutely right, it's not that fast. From the factory, this car takes about an hour to get from 0 to 60. On paper, the little Mazda isn't looking that hot. But that's the beauty of this car. The vehicle is built to impress one person and one person only, and that's the guy in the driver's seat. Dude, I feel like... Like, that's 40. <laughs> like... It's, that makes 40 really fun. Yeah. I'm a muscle car guy, and I'll admit, I used to be a Miata hater. But, until you sit down and drive one of these cars, and really drive one of these cars, you're just not gonna get it. It's less like driving a car, and more like playing with a go-kart. The fact that it's such a lightweight car makes it a really fun driving experience. The manual transmission and rear-wheel drive combo are a blast around the corners. It's a really spirited machine. Yeah. Alright. Alright, I get it. I get it. Sure, it's not that powerful, it's not that fast in a straight line, but it's fun. It's genuinely fun. You're putting 100% effort into driving the car all the time. Even at low speeds, you're constantly shifting, you're constantly focusing on the road in the next turn. Even if you're not going that fast, you feel like you're going that fast. What you lack in acceleration, you make up for with the fact that you don't have to hit the brakes in the corners. In a lot of ways, this car actually reminds me of my Datsun. The lack of power can be an understandable turnoff, but once you get on the back roads, it stops mattering so much. And on top of all that, you can put the top down. What's not to love? <laughs> the second generation Miata did away with the pop-up headlights and added some more curves and styling to the car. I'm personally a big fan of watching the headlights go up and down on the first generation models, but Mazda did a great job of making the NV less cute and more sporty. It kind of has an RX-7 vibe to it. It didn't lose its signature flair with the facelift though. It's still blatantly an MX-5. The wavy curves and oval grille scream early 2000s. The design of the vehicle embraces simplicity, which is exactly what's so cool about it. The interior, like everything else on the car, is simple. With bucket seats and a simple dash, it's very much a roadster. The shifter's in a good position, and all in all, it's actually pretty comfortable. At the end of the day, the Miata is really good at what it was built for. The car wasn't made to be fancy, it wasn't built with 0-60 to 60 times in mind. The Miata exists solely as a toy, as a go-kart that you can take to work. I want to thank Skylar for letting us use his car for this video, I'll put his Instagram down here in case y'all want to check him out. Uh, unfortunately, a few weeks after filming this video, the car got into a wreck on a major highway. I do think it's worth pointing out though that the little car hit a side rail at 60 miles an hour and Skylar was able to walk away relatively unharmed, which obviously is all that really matters. So you guys make sure to go give him some support. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to us here at The Left Pedal for more cool car stuff every single week. I'm Soda Pop, this is The Left Pedal and I'll see y'all next time.